I chose Marquette because of our long-standing history with Engineers Without Borders. It's really provided me an opportunity to take my God-given talents uh, in terms of engineering skills and develop those into tools that I'm now able to use uh, to further my vocation as an engineer in doing service. When I found out that they have a program where it combines my professional interests with you know my social interests I really I found a home with Engineers Without Borders and um, it really afforded me a lot of really cool opportunities and it, it, um, it's been a great time. Uh, the current project that we're working on is an electrification project in Nueva Providencia, Guatemala. Uh, and we have developed a system of solar panels and seem to be a micro turbine generator. Eventually it'll provide a lot of electricity to this village and they've got 30 homes wired right now. Each home has um, three lights, one outlet, and we've also got street lights throughout the community so that if they're out and about at night they can you know, they can play soccer and they can gather in common areas and, and really, you know, it extends their day to a great deal. So that's been really rewarding to see that. We're very grateful for Dr. Amade being here with us during Mission Week, which is a very special time in the life of Marquette University when we hold up people who embody our university's mission, especially our Catholic and Jesuit mission, to be change agents in the world. And I can't think of anybody better than Dr. Amade to be with us this week. In the last six months, we've put together a formal partnership with a non-governmental organization in Guatemala to help us organize our projects, to help us vet projects and be sure that we're doing good ones, so that we can sh be sure to do the best good for the most people in Guatemala. It provides the opportunity for engineering students to do the good work that they'd like to do. You know, when I got here less than four years ago, we only had about 15 or 20 students involved in Engineering Without Borders, primarily all engineers. Now we have over 120 students on our campus involved from all different disciplines trying to contribute to better the lives of others. Really, Dr. Almade has really allowed our students to make a better contribution and serve society. I think it's very impressive what Dr. Almade has been able to organize and assemble. He implemented a program that's really done outstanding things for places all over the world and countless individuals, so it's really, really something that I hold in a very high regard and I have a lot of respect for what he's been able to accomplish. Without his example and his thought to create this overarching organization to hold kids like us to these standards and ensure that the systems that we're providing to these communities are sustainable and are going to continue on after our time there is, I think, the best thing he could have ever provided us. Thank you, Dr. Amade, for setting such a great example for college students like me. Thank you, Dr. Amade, so much for the example that you've set. Um, it's inspired a lot of people, and I'm just really pleased to say that I'm one of them. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Amade, for challenging us as engineers and as people to foster a positive change in the world. Yes.